Dr. Paul Mason, fatty liver disease causes joint pain. Diet can relieve it. Osteoarthritis here, which is generally what we call the wear and tear arthritis. And you can't reverse it, but you can make it feel a hell of a lot better. So the reason for this is that, let's go back a step. We've got lots of studies that show that when people lose weight, their pain significantly improves. The joint that we usually refer to when they talk about this in the research is knee, osteo-knee arthritis. And it's been said that a 10% body weight reduction can reduce the pain of knee arthritis by about 50%. So most of the data would actually suggest it's probably only about 30%, but that's still pretty significant. And if it was only due to the weight loss, then we'd expect it to be proportional. We'd expect a 10% reduction in body weight to lead to a 10% reduction in pain, not a 30% or a 50%. So why is it? So it's very well accepted now that it comes down to a cytokine effect, that circulating molecules within our blood, messenger molecules. And I can tell you what those molecules are. So if you actually think about it, you get a soup bone, like the one you're going to make a big soup out of or you're going to give to a dog or something like that. And you know how you've got this shininess on the end of it. Um, it's, it's shiny, whereas the shaft of the bone is actually a little bit dull. So that shininess on the end is actually called articular cartilage. That's super smooth, super hard wearing. In actual fact, two sheets of articular cartilage rubbing against each other have less friction than wet ice. It, it's really smooth stuff. Now, if you were to slowly grind this articular cartilage down, that's arthritis. And when we talk about grade one, two, three, or four, we're really just talking about, is it the first 25%? Are you in the next 50%, 75%? Or how far through it are you? That's how we grade it. Now, you cannot, once you've worn away some cartilage, you can't replace it, but you can make it more resilient, what is left behind, because it doesn't actually have any nerves. So the fact that you've ground a bit away doesn't cause pain. But if it loses its function and doesn't absorb shock and protect the bone that's underneath, that bone has a lot of nerve and that can cause a lot of pain. So if we actually were to look at this articular cartilage under a microscope, you, what you would see is you would see a cell in the middle and that cell is called a chondrocyte and that would be surrounded by a protein scaffolding that we call the extracellular matrix. And that extracellular matrix is what actually makes the cartilage resilient and strong. And there's some things that can make the, the chondrocyte in the middle is making this extracellular matrix or this scaffolding all the time. And there's other forces in the body which are breaking it down. And if the force is breaking it down uh, much, much, you know, quite high, then that means you can only secrete a very little and not a very stable extracellular matrix. So the resiliency of the cartilage and the ability to protect the underlying bone is going to be much reduced. So then the question is, what factors actually lead to breaking down of this scaffolding? And the only protein in our body that can break down that type of collagen is called a matrix metalloproteinase. Matrix metalloproteinase, it sounds awful, but basically metallo just means it's got a metal line in there. Proteinase means it can break down protein and matrix just refers to, it breaks down the extracellular matrix. So it's actually, you know, an almost logical name. And they're made by the liver. Now, the liver normally makes a, a small amount in the background. It's what we call a constitutive secretion. It's always making a little bit. But if you have fatty liver disease, you make a whole lot more. And some of that extra stuff that gets made circulates around the rest of the body. And it gets exposed to your cartilages, to this extracellular matrix. So it weakens it. So it weakens all the proteins and all the collagen proteins in the body. And so that means that you're more likely to develop tendon injuries, which are also made of collagen. You're more likely to have arthritis pain because you, the lining of your joints is less resilient. So when you lose a little bit of weight, the beautiful thing is the weight that you lose first actually comes away from your liver. So even before you lose the pot belly, you're reversing fatty liver disease. You reverse fatty liver disease, reduce the amount of fat in the liver, the body makes less of these matrix metalloproteinases. We abbreviate them as MMPs. If you have less MMPs, then that means there's less of this breakdown stress on your articular cartilage. And even though you've got the same amount of cells, the same amount of chondrocytes, that hasn't changed. 
that means that the area around them, that scaffolding is much bigger and much stronger and much more resilient, and that protects the underlying bones. And what we actually find, so I work with an orthopedic surgeon called Dr. Duran Sher. He's an excellent surgeon. But what we find is that when he gets his patients to lose weight and go on a healthy ketogenic low diet, low in seed oils, low in carbohydrates, about 30 to 50% of the patients who would have been booked in for surgery cancel. They no longer need the surgery. Is the arthritis reversed? Well, technically it's not reversed, but their pain's gone away. And that's pretty much the same thing. Osteoarthritis cannot be reversed, but you can make it feel much better. It is well known that when you lose weight, joint pain decreases significantly. In a study on osteoknee arthritis, a 10% weight reduction in patients resulted in a 50% pain reduction. If it was only due to weight loss, we would expect pain reduction to be proportional to weight loss. It's well accepted now that it is the cytokines the messenger molecules circulate in our blood that affects joint pain. Dr. Mason gives us an example. You look at a soup bone. It has shininess on its end. This is called articular cartilage. It's super smooth, super slick. There's less friction than wet ice. Grinding down of this articular cartilage is osteoarthritis, commonly called wear and tear arthritis. The Severity of the arthritis is graded by the percentage of wear. For example, 25% wear is grade one. Osteoarthritis, you cannot replace damaged cartilage, but you can make it more resilient. It has no nerves, so no pain. If it loses its function, then it stops protecting the bone beneath it. That bone has nerves and can cause lots of pain. Looking at articular cartridge under a microscope, chondrocyte cell in the middle, surrounded by extracellular matrix. This is a protein scaffolding that keeps making the articular cartilage strong and smooth. When forces in the body overcome the chondrocyte, the extracellular matrix begins to break down. What forces can break down the extracellular matrix? Only one matrix metalloproteinase. Matrix metalloproteinase is made by the liver. Normally, small amounts are secreted on a regular basis. But if you have fatty liver disease, it makes a whole lot more. This weakens your articular cartilage, leading to tendon, joint, and bone pain. Matrix metalloproteinase, or MMP, when you lose a little bit of weight, the first place to lose fat is the liver. When the liver loses fat, the body makes fewer MMPs. So the protein scaffolding grows to protect the bones. Dr. Mason works with Dr. Doran Schur, orthopedic surgeon. And he says of his patients who go on the diet of reduced carbs and seed oils, 30 to 50% who had planned surgery cancel because they are now pain-free.